So I am here with the first team eliminated from the Amazing Race Canada Season 2, Shala and Nabila. Has it sunk in when I say the first team eliminated? It has. It doesn't necessarily mean I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell me what happened in that training facility water thing and the Charlie horses. You kept dropping the pee. It just seemed like a total train wreck. What happened? Um, well, we had a firefighter challenge before that that took quite some time and I think I just got completely dehydrated from that and then going into a tank full of freezing cold water and the water's rising and you know you're the last team. So all of those factors kind of played into it. But my body basically just gave out on me. And But Nabila was great. Yeah. You know, when you're the first team eliminated, is there sort of a sense of satisfaction in the sense that you made it all the way through the casting process, you got on the show, or is it bittersweet going, oh, we went through all of that, but now we're the first team kicked off? I think either way we look at it, we're just so happy to have been part of the experience. I think just to know that we were on the Amazing Race Canada representing who we are, just sitting there watching it with our friends and family, it was such a profound experience that I don't think first or last could take away from that. You know, I made a prediction that there was so much written about how you guys did not want to sacrifice your religious beliefs. If a detour came up, a roadblock came up, maybe you had to eat something that you didn't want to eat. I was expecting you guys to take a penalty nomination. I just didn't feel like it ha would happen in the way that it did. Did that surprise you as well? Um, I think... You know, when you're kind of, you just don't know what else to do in that situation with the water, we had to take a penalty. But Nabila and I were always on the same page about where we were going to take penalties. And I think that's what made us a really strong team, that we communicated really well with each other. And we knew when, when we would have to take one. This is being called one of the most diverse casts on The Amazing Race. What was the interaction like? You know, there were two same-sex couples, Olympic gold medalists. How did the teams get along? The teams had such an incredible chemistry together. And, and this will, this sort of came to play out, which you guys will later experience through the rest of the episodes. But the teams are incredible. The, the, just the way they work together, but as well as the way we interact with each other is just remarkable. Was there any kind of bitterness when you said that, oh, it's like Rex Harrington from the ballet, and oh, it's these like Olympic gold medalists, where you almost like, oh, these guys are totally going to have an advantage. Like, let's say we go to Montreal or something, everybody's going to know who that guy is. Um, did the teams recognize them, and did they have an advantage? Um, I don't think off the bat we recognized anyone really, but I mean, obviously, when you know there's Olympians on there, you think uh, they might have an advantage with the physical, you know, challenges. But um, honestly, you have one bad day and that could throw your whole game off and that could happen to anyone. So it doesn't really matter if you're an Olympian or a celebrity at that point. Do you feel like the stronger teams had an advantage over you guys? I felt like you guys, it was almost like high school all over again where nobody was picking me for the football team. You had these like Olympians. You had Rob who's like a fitness trainer. And I'm like, how are these two best friends going to compete in a physical challenge? Well, I think there were the physical challenges, but we also saw the T, the T serving. And we saw some of the teams struggle with those. I think I got it on the second try and we were out of in and out of there within 15, 20 minutes. So as Shala says, sometimes it's just luck. Sometimes you get something you're just great at. And sometimes you'll get stuck in a cab and another team will be able to go past you or you get a bad driver. So yes, there's that element of skill that you bring to the, to the show, but there's also the element of luck that all these other things beyond your control can happen. Did the thought cross your mind for any minute when like she started complaining about her Charlie horses and you're like, why'd I do this with Shala? No. <laughs> no, because you, you know you know what? Like I looked at her and I just saw the sheer like the pain, the anguish, and I know how badly she wants this and I said, Okay, this she's not joking around. She she needs to take a penalty like we need to take this penalty. I'm fascinated by the fact that you guys are the only team on the Amazing Race Canada too that don't have Twitter accounts. What's up with that? I made a Twitter account and then I'm not really using the Twitter account. I don't know. We're more active on Facebook, I guess. Yeah. And tell me, uh, wh what do you think we can expect for the rest of the season? Like, is it going to be just as exciting? I already saw in the preview for next week, there's already another ambulance. Like, I feel like I'm watching ER, not The Amazing Race Canada. Yeah, I mean, the places that we're going to go and the things that you're going to learn about the teams and the things that you'll see about our country are amazing. So definitely, there's a lot more cool stuff to come. What's one thing about The Amazing Race Canada that people watching at home might not know? Um, I think a lot of people don't know that prior to John saying go on the start line, none of us know each other. We don't know each other's names. We don't know where each other are from. So all the interaction that you see on TV is the initial interaction that we have. You know, I feel like Muslims have a bad run on The Amazing Race. Bilal and Saeed were the last Muslim team on The Amazing Race 10. They also got eliminated first. What is it? Can't we just get a break? You know what? I think, again, it just comes down to what our skills are and our strengths are. So... I don't know. I mean, Muslim or not, I think 
it was just the luck of the draw that we got into that tank and it was a tough one for us. Yeah. And what's next for you? Uh, back to work and, you know, just enjoying our 15 minutes and, you know, soaking in the experience. I mean, only 42 Canadians all over Canada have gotten to have this opportunity. And so we just feel lucky that we've got to be a part of it. And what's next for you? Uh, well, it is the month of Ramadan. So for the rest of the month, we'll be spending the time fasting, um, spending some time with family and friends. And then after that, um, who knows? I mean, work as well. And then we'll see what other cool challenges come up. Are you guys both fasting right now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing interviews. Cut them a break. They're doing interviews today. Nabila, thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You so much. Thank, thank you. you so nice much. Nice meeting you.